flood waters pose serious risks. The threat of drowning, structural collapse of homes, waterborne diseases, and encounters with wildlife. But for Sarah Babalal and her husband, Kevin Rupchand, leaving floods and saving their children was a decision they did not hesitate to make. The time 9 o'clock, it started to come in really, really fast. The time 12 o'clock in the night, we couldn't stay home no more. It was at a very high level. Um, so we had to evacuate home. We went to the corporation and told them our, our um, problems and they bring us to the shelter. She explains her fears for the future. Currently, we are paying a loan right now, what we took year, last year before. And we're still paying for it last year. We're still paying it for it this year, December of this year. Then we will done pay for it. And to build, to start to build, and we get an next flood again. So instead of trying to do that and build again, is you have to buy back bed, you have to buy back mattress. Yeah. Rup Chand, who works with the Ministry of Agriculture, says even though people may look down on them for their misfortune, only those who feel the pain of flooding will understand their plight. With the small salary you get in, it's a very um, difficult thing to keep buying back clothes, books. And right now we lost everything in the house, but it goes through ice. So it goes through ice, it's so expensive already. To come back now and go and get money to buy back this stuff, it doesn't be easy. The family is allowed to stay in the shelter for 72 hours, after which they must return to their home. Anyone wanting to assist the family can call Babulal at 747-2389. Radically Silver, CNC3 News.